here we can see the start menu. It consists of four buttons, start, settings, difficulty and quit. Here you can see the difficulty page. It consists of three presets, an easy mode, a normal mode and a hard mode. Each of these difficulties change the amount of keys you need to find, the boss's health, regenerate and attack damage. I'm going to choose easy. Now on the settings menu, you can change the volume, you can increase it or decrease it. In addition to that, you can increase or decrease the sensitivity. I'm going to keep it at one. Next, as you can see, there are a bunch of key bands you can change. For example, crouch to Q, sprint to H, interact to M, and the hotbar slots to the F keys. And then you can reset them all to default and confirm it. And now I can start the game. I wake up dazed and confused. I remember being kidnapped and now I'm locked in a cell. I need to find a way out of here. There's a phone just outside the cell. If only I could get to it. As you can see, when I look at the door, there is a press E to interact button prompt. When I connect my PlayStation controller and hover over the door, you can see it says press square to interact now. And now that I plug in my Xbox controller, it says press X to interact. Now, if I click escape, I can pause the game and go into my settings. If I scroll down to my interact and change it to F and resume the game, you can see the button prompt has updated to now say F instead of E. When I interact with the door, it says you need to find something to open the door with. Here's a screwdriver. If I pick it up and then I interact with the door, it says you need to equip the screwdriver to your hotbar. Open your inventory to do this. So I equip it to my hotbar and I interact with it. As you can hear, there are footsteps when you walk around. When you jump, there is also jump audio. And when you crouch, the footsteps are quieter and less frequent. In contrast, when you sprint, the footsteps are louder and much more frequent, and your stamina bar depletes. Now I'll interact with the phone. I've managed to call the police. They trace the call, but can't get here for a while. I need to find a way out of this house, but I can't be seen. I will now open up my settings again and change my interact button back to E for the rest of this. As I go up the stairs, I will now take a left and another one to enter this bathroom and close the door. Here there's a toothbrush and a razor blade. If I pick up the toothbrush and equip it, you can see it in my hand. However, when I pick up the razor blade, it automatically crafts a weapon in my inventory using both of those. As you can see, I'm switching between both items. I will now go out and search for enemies to fight. In this room, you can see there is a key on the table. If I find enough of them, I can escape the house. As you can see, there is an enemy in front of me. She is chasing me. If I attack her with a screwdriver, it only does 10 damage. But if I switch to my other weapon, it does 50 and I can kill her. Here is another key. An enemy just went inside the bathroom. If I attack him from behind, he reacts and turns around. There I have killed him. Now only one enemy remains and he is wandering outside. If I crouch, I can hide under this table and catch him by surprise. Now if I open the door and go outside, the atmosphere changes. If I go behind him and attack him, he also reacts to it and tries to fight back. I've killed and this is the windscreen. Now I will return to the main menu and start again. As you can see, there is a key in front of me and I have two already in my inventory. If I pick this key up 
and exit through the house, go to the front door and interact, it comes up with this. I've managed to find all the keys and open the gate. I run to the nearest police station and I'm finally safe. For now. Here is the windscreen if you escape. This final clip is of me being attacked by the boss and dying. Bear in mind you can also win by waiting out the time limit. As you can see my health bar is depleting every time the boss attacks me. When I die, it comes up with the following you died message and I can either restart the game or return to the main menu.